Dear students, now we are going to see the subject transmission lines and RF system. Under that, the topic is transducer power gain. In the study of this transducer power gain, the students will be able to describe the power gain and this derive the expression for transducer power gain. Transducer is a device which convert a one form of energy into another form. So power gain is GT. Gain is the ratio of output to input. So in transducer, the power gain is defined as the ratio of power delivered to the load to the power available from the source. So GT is equal to PL by P average. So average is the power input to the transducer. So PL is equal to 1 by 2 B2 square into 1 minus the load reflection coefficient gamma L square. So PA is the source power B S square divided by 1 minus gamma S square. That is the biasing signal divided by input reflection coefficient gamma S square. So substitute the equation 3 and 4 in equation 2. So the gain of transducer D, GT equal to 1 by 2 B, T, B 2 square into 1 minus gamma L square by B S square by 1 minus gamma S square. Simplify this. B2 by 1, B2 by Bs the whole square into 1 minus gamma L square divided by the 1 minus gamma L square into 1 minus gamma S square. The reflection, the reflected wave at port 2 is B2, B2 equal to A1 S21 by 1 minus S22 gamma L. By rearranging the above equation 6, B2 into 1 minus S22 gamma L equal to A1 S21. So A1 is equal to B2 into 1 minus S22 gamma L by S21. The source reflection coefficient Bs is given by Bs is equal to 1 minus gamma S into gamma input the whole into A1. So the input, input reflection coefficient gamma n is given by gamma n is equal to S11 plus S12 S21 gamma L by 1 minus S22 gamma L. Rearranging the equation 11, 9 by gamma input is equal to S11 into 1 minus S22 gamma L plus S12 S21 gamma L by 1 minus S22 gamma L. So, uh, to find the gamma, 1 minus gamma S into gamma N. So, gamma S into gamma, gamma N, that is the source reflection coefficient into input reflection coefficient is equal to S11 into 1 minus S22 gamma L into gamma S plus S12 S21 gamma L into gamma S divided by 1 minus S22 gamma L. So, so here you keep introduce 1 minus in both LHS and RHS. So 1 minus gamma S into gamma N equal to 1 minus the whole term, the above equation term. So simplify this. So 1 minus multiply S11 inside. So S11 gamma S minus S11 S22 gamma L gamma S plus S12 S21 gamma L gamma S by 1 minus S22 gamma L. So, take an LCM, so 1 minus S22 gamma L minus S11 gamma S plus minus S11 S22 gamma L gamma S. Here the minus is common, so multiply minus S12 S21 gamma L gamma S divided by 1 minus S22 gamma L. So, simplify this. Gamma S is common in the second term. So 1 minus S22 gamma L minus S11 gamma S into 1 minus S22 gamma L minus S12 S21 gamma L gamma S divided by 1 minus S22 gamma L. So here again the S11 this term is common. So 1 minus S22 gamma L 1 minus the whole into 1 minus S2, S11 gamma S. 1 minus S22 gamma L is common for first two terms. So that is kept as common. So this term like this. So find the BS. Substitute this equation 12 in equation 8. So from equation 8, BS is equal to 1 minus gamma S gamma input into A1. So substitute this gamma S gamma input in the BS. So we are getting this equation. Then simplify this. So we are to find BS by B2 the whole square from this. 
So B S by B two the whole square equal to magnitude of S two one square divided by one minus S two two gamma L into one minus S one one gamma S minus S one two S two one gamma L gamma S the whole square. To find the transitive sir gain G T substitute this B S by B two square in the gain value. So we are getting the gain G T equal to S two one square one minus gamma L square. Into one minus gamma s square divided by one minus s two two gamma l square, one minus gamma s gamma l the whole square. So possible quiz question is the power gain g of a two port network is independent of source impedance of two port network. Thank you.